Hey VIPs, it's Lexus Joy from Lexus Joy VIP Access and I'm so excited to be catching up with these beauties. I'm here today with... Jillian Rose Reed. Brooke Lewis. And we're here today at Breaking the Chains' very special event. Now, what's it like for you ladies being here and supporting this wonderful foundation? Well, we're just so excited to be involved in Breaking the Chains to begin with, but this year, 2018, has been a year of incredible growth for our foundation, and I'm really excited to be starting to partner with other organizations who are like-minded and to be able to come to events like this and not only be honored, but just connect with like-minded people who share the same mission. I mean, it's incredible to find a community of other people who feel the same way we do. And to be here at the Coffee Connection for IADEP, I hope I'm saying it correctly, IADEP, LA specifically. And so again, a larger umbrella that we can all partner together for an incredible cause and purpose that Deborah Hopkins is, it's her heart, soul, and passion. So we're so honored to be a part of it. And thank you. And I get to hang out with these beautiful young women <laughs> who truly, I love these two to pieces and you give so much, both of you. And it's an honor to be a part of your day. Well, I absolutely adore you both. You guys know that through all of our interviews, but also what advice would you give out to fans on how they can join amazing foundations like this, especially ones involving eating disorders, because that's something affecting so many people. Um, well, there's so many different organizations and programs that you can get involved in, but if you specifically want to get involved with Breaking the Chains, you can go to our website. Um, we have information on who we all are, what we do, different things that we offer, different ways that you can get involved, um, including all of our upcoming events. So if you want to get involved with us, we would love to have you. I think the coolest thing, and I hope it inspires someone watching, is that what Deborah created Breaking the Chains Foundation to do with the intent is to heal, heal eating disorders, body image issues, body shaming through art. So that's something that personally I think draws me, Jillian as well, being a wonderful actress, you know, people who are creative, artistically creative, uh, photography, dance, the seven chairs is so exquisite. So for us, it's something that, you know, is like a, a double or triple inspiration, right? Excellent. Now you ladies are always working on fabulous projects. I know you have your blog that you're working on, you with all of your movies. So tell us what are some things that fans can stay tuned for from you ladies? Uh, well, I still have Elena of Avalor airing on the Disney Channel. I believe it's on Saturday mornings. Um, but also through Breaking the Chains Foundation, I'm actually about to launch my very first seminar called How to Love Your Selfie, which is basically an interactive seminar that takes a look at the connection between um, social media and mental health for young people. So we're having our first seminar are on the beach um, November 4th. It's going to be a little bit of yoga and then my seminar. So if you guys want to come to that, we would love to so see everybody sweet. there. That I is very that. exciting. Thanks. I know. I that is so amazing. Well, and, and to be fair, it's not going to be a seminar that's offered to the public very often because it is um, made for our board to kind of go in and, and do with treatment centers. Um, so if you want to come, come now because I don't know the next time we're going to offer it to the public. Absolutely. So. Make sure you guys go and come. I really need that. Older people need that too. Um, so for me, so shout out to my last short film that we are touring the circuit with. Halloween season's here. So for all you scream queens out there, Alan Amelia short romance that Marcus Redman wrote and directed that I got to act in with the amazing veteran Courtney Gaines from Can't Buy Me Love, Children of the Corn. So that is touring right now the whole festival circuit. So we've been running around between here in New York and everywhere. And everybody check out Half New Year when it comes out next year. I won't give a spoiler alert, but it's a wonderful feature I'm very proud of. Yay. Well, we love all of your projects. You guys always create such masterpieces, whether it's movies, TV shows, blogs, everything that you guys do. Now, also, one thing that Breaking the Chains really brings out to everyone through the foundation is self-love. So what does self-love mean for you guys? <sighs> self-love is complicated. It's very tricky. It ebbs and flows. For me, it's never really consistent. I have good days and bad days. Um, so for me, self-love is just all about that journey. And um, I, I love to feel things. I love all of the feelings. So if I experience something negative, I let myself feel that. And then I use the tools that I've created to get myself out of that headspace. Um, so for me, self-love is really just being a, at a place with myself where I can lay it all out on the line, I can fix the things I need to fix, I can work on the things that aren't aren't working. Um, so really self-love is, is a work in progress, I think I would say, because 
the simple definition, some people just say, well, it's about loving yourself. It's about loving what you see in the mirror, but it's not. It has nothing to do with that. Excellent for you, Brad. The two quick things I would say, I authored a book titled Coaching from a Professed Hot Mess. <laughs> so part of my self-love inspiration is to love yourself as you are. We are all perfectly imperfect. It's such a battle and a challenge to try to be perfect all the time. And we, especially in Hollywood, have to face that a lot. So just, we are perfectly imperfect, accept it. And my last one is my life coaching business, no plug here, but be you and be fearless. And that means self-love, however hot mess you are, whatever mistakes you make, when you fall, you fail, and it's okay. Just be yourself, be authentic, and be fearless about it. Excellent. Well, that's one of the many things that we love about you both is that you guys are such phenomenal role models to all of your fans. You guys inspire them on the daily, so we really appreciate all that you guys do. And lastly, if you could bring out a message to all of your fans watching, what message would that be? Ooh, a message to everyone watching. Um, I think th th today the message to everyone watching would be that if you're struggling, know that you're not alone. And if you need help, seek it. Because, because you're not alone, we all understand what you're going through. And there's a giant community waiting to help you. I just, to, to end it, check out Breaking the Chains Foundation online and support Alexis Joy here because she supports us in everything we do. Well, I love you ladies so much. Congrats to you both thank again on everything. And thank you for always working hard with amazing foundations like Breaking the Chains to bring out positive messages to everyone. Bye, guys.